So here we have a standard 4K Fire Stick. Let's look at the performance. Down, up. You can see that as it goes down, back up. That's the kind of response we get on the home screen. Okay. Now let's look at an optimized Fire Stick. And here is my optimized Fire Stick. And just look at that guys. Bang, bang, bang. We're talking about an instant transition going up and down is just so much faster. Similarly, if you go back to the normal Fire Stick, if I long press the home key, long press, and we see the menu, let's do that again, long press, and then we see the menu, third time, long press, we see the menu, and if I now jump over to my optimized Fire Stick, long press, there's the menu. Let's do that again, long press, there's the menu. And lastly, long press, there's the menus. So no need to wait for those animations or those transitions. We can literally make our Fire Stick so much faster and just feel so much more snappier by applying a simple fix. Now this simple fix we can apply by using the all new TDUK Speed Toolbox on all of our devices. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this new toolbox on all of your devices and just improve the performance of all of them. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, to start this process on your Amazon device, just head over to your settings, go to MyFi TV, go to developer options, and make sure you have both these options set to on because we will be making an ADB connection with this new toolbox to apply that change on your device. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and let's open up Downloader. And let's now open up a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 534 zero two click on go and this will take you straight to my website now when you get to my website you want to head over to the hamburger menu which is one of the three lines click on that and click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get this new tduk speed toolbox so here we are and this just gives you some information about exactly what's happening in the background so all of these Android devices, whether it's your Fire Stick or your Android phone or your Nvidia Shield, they all come with these animation scales, which is the window animation scale, the transition animation scale, and lastly, the animated duration scale. Now, these are put on your device just to make the whole experience look a little bit nicer. So you have those smooth transitions, smooth movements, and just, you know, make the experience more pleasant. Now this is fine if you have you know a powerful phone or a powerful device but on these lower powered devices and especially on these fire sticks i just think the animation is not needed and really does slow the device down so we can now turn that off using the tduk speed toolbox and this is what it looks like and there's actually a slight typo here because the last one should be the animator duration scale but slight typo but doesn't affect the functionality of the toolbox okay, let's go down Here's how you enable those options and underneath all of that and click on the link here. Click on that, scroll down and you want to click on this green download button. Here we are, I can now click on install. And in case you're wondering, the logo was inspired by Star Wars. Okay, I can now click on done. Let's press the home key and here is the new toolbox. Let's open that up. Now the very first time you open it, it will make an ADB connection and if you see an error like this, I can click on Open ADB Settings, go to Developer Options, turn ADB Debugging off, just for a couple of seconds, put that back on. I can now press back on the remote, back again. Let's now open up the application, and we are now inside the application. Now we can see the default values, which are all set to one. And if anything happens, you wanna go back to defaults, you can just click on Reset Values, click on Save, and I'll put everything back to where it was. Now for you to fully appreciate the impact of these values, what we can actually do is increase this to five, uh, also to five, and this one will also increase to five. Click on save. Now when I press the home key, 
you can see all of the animations have now been greatly increased. If I press down on the remote, um, I mean, it does actually look quite nice, but you can see, guys, it's very, very slow. And now trying to navigate around, everything just has that sort of slight pause. And similarly, if I do the long press home key, let go, and that slowly fades in. So that basically shows you the impact of those three settings on your device and what the values actually do. Now, lastly, if I back out of this, so you can see like moving around, going up and down, it just looks very, very slow. But also, which is very important, if I open up Downloader, because there's actually a direct impact to the virtual mouse. So here comes Downloader, nicely fades in. Now, you can see if I press down the remote, we can see it's going down in very, very small steps. So you could say it's a little bit more precise, but we can see that's just way too slow. And the reason why I'm showing you that is if we now go back to the toolbox, let's open that up. Now, what I recommend for the first two, because I don't care about transition animations, I'm gonna turn that to off. Window animation, again, I'm gonna turn that to off or zero. And lastly, the animated duration scale, if I put that to zero, and click on save. We're now basically saying we don't want to see animations on our fire stick. Let's now press the home key. And you can just see straight away, guys, everything just feels super snappy, moving around, clicking on things. It literally is just night and day difference, guys. Everything just appears straight away. No need to wait for anything to load. It just feels so much faster. So do give a thumbs up for that. The only slight issue of having the animation duration scale set to zero is if I now go back to Downloader, if I now move around, <laughs> you can see, guys, I can't actually control the mouse at all because every time I press like left on the remote, it goes to the left. If I press down, it goes to each of the corners, basically. Now, if you are somebody that doesn't use, you know, Downloader or the virtual mouse, then fine, you can leave the settings as is because that really will give you the fastest performance. However, for most of you, as I know you do use Downloader, I personally recommend going back into the toolbox and changing the last one, not to zero. I mean, personally, I go with 0 0.2. Let's go to save. Let's press the home key. So everything else is still snappy as before, but inside Downloader, we can see that the mouse, you can control it. I mean, it still does jump around uh, quite a bit, not much as before, but I mean, this for me is enough. And I can always click on what I want to click on. But if you find this is too fast for you, again, go back to the toolbox. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag speed, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate, I'll then heart your comment. And maybe increase this to 0.3, click on save, press the home key, let's go back to downloader, and that's a bit more precise now. So that's really personal preference, but definitely turning off the first two, the window animation and the window duration will make a massive difference to your device, especially on the devices like the Fire Stick Lite. You will see that as soon as you make this change, everything will just be so much more snappier than before. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know you guys are always looking for ways on how we can improve the performance of our Fire Sticks, how we can optimize their debloater and all that kind of stuff. I do try my best to find you the best ways of doing that. So do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.